Hey everybody. I know it's been a while since I uh, since I posted. Hope everybody's healthy. But I just got this the DHL guy just dropped this package off. It's an absolutely massive package from PCB Way. I've never had one this big before. So I thought I would show you what was going on here and kind of get you caught up with where I am. Been busy making circuit boards. So let's see about getting this baby open. All right, before we bust open that box, let me give you a little background. So got a couple of boards running here. Here's an extra one. Um, working for a client. Uh, building these boards so they're based on the ESP32 um, I had to make this was the first version that I did and I made a few mistakes so I had to put these resistors on the back here I had to solder those in there's one right in there by that switch right there uh, that I had to solder in but those were the only repairs that I had to make so it's got your ESP32 it's got a GPS on it SD card this is a CAN controller right here, so this uh, for a CAN bus which comes out on these these wires right here and then this is a USB coming in here, it's a USB-C connector that's a battery charger so it'll charge your LiPo right there so this is all your um, serial to USB to serial through here, battery, power, the CAN okay and then so, oh and there's a, that's an accelerometer right there so uh, that was the first version of the board and then we went with this black which I don't have one out I got this one down here which hooked up with a bunch of stuff but we went to this black one we added a buzzer on there because we needed to make some signal noises um, we added a battery for the GPS things like that and and then we just made the third version which just has minor changes and that's what's in the box so here I got a couple of running together so here's my can can wire connecting the two together. This old one is just uh, sending a bunch of can messages. And this new one is picking up the can messages and doing different stuff with it. So, okay, well that's uh, so that's what we're looking forward to. So let's bust open let's bust open that box. All right, I hope the lighting's good because we only get one chance at this, right? So let's get the. Uh, Get the way bill out of there. And what do we have here? Okay, 15 boards. That's what we have in here. Two different sets of them. I'll tell you what. I, I don't know if you guys have used PCB Way, and I'm not sponsored by PCB Way, but I like their service. You can order something like this, and they not only make the board, but they assemble it, put all the parts on it, and ship it to you. And I have had it in as little as 12 days from when I ordered it. All right, so. I mean, that's crazy. They build the board, they assemble the parts, everything's soldered up, and in 12 days, you have it. So, all right, so we got two orders in here. I guess we can get rid of this box. All right, so let's see what we got. This is the normal box that I'm used to getting. These boxes like this not two at a time and we had to make I had to make two orders because I have two different logos so this is this is who I work for and then we have client boards with a, with a different one on it so we have prototypes and these okay so two pieces all right so got the anti-static stuff and this is three pieces and two pieces. So let's just open up the two pieces. Well packed, which you expect. All right. Two 
pieces. And one, two, and three pieces. All right, throw that trash on the floor. We'll grab some scissors here. We'll get one of these open. So, I think I can just trim it right there. Ta da! Ta da! Alright. Hold on, I gotta take a close look at it. I guess I can get, let me see if I can get the camera focused. Yeah. Yeah, everything's looking good. I mean, it's what I expect. Now, in this revision, I didn't do much. Okay, so I I re I move these caps a little closer to here. You have to keep this area cleared out according to the specs on the on the GPS. You got to keep this area cleared out. But I did move these caps over closer. I didn't want them that far away. And I also adjusted the caps over here to get them closer. And you probably can't see it under there. Let's see. I don't think. I'm going to have to get some glare. Oh, yeah. Okay, when I get that glare on it just right, there's a circle right there. Well, you have to, for that GPS, you're really supposed to have no copper in that circle in the center of that GPS. I'm not sure why, but, okay. Alright, so let's see if we can zoom in on this thing. Alright, that's mainly just our connectors that we have. Mostly the CAN down here. CAN terminate resistor. Well, the resistor's there. This is for a jumper. Alright. And we're using the USB, but you can connect straight up to the uh, serial right there. And then these are some uh, power pins. There is, uh, this is for the um, SPI bus right there. And then there's a couple of GPIOs right there. There's a couple of input pins right there. And then there's a couple of uh, voltage dividers on these input pins right there. Okay, so so there's your inputs, and these are some voltage dividers. So if you need to measure 5 volts, you can do it with these pins right here. Alright, so let me get this in the center. i got to take off my glasses. Make sure this I can see this thing okay. Make sure you guys can too. Let me get a good angle. Alright, that's a pretty good angle. So here's your ESP32 GPS buzzer SD card. That's a GPS battery. There's an embargo on, so I have to solder the batteries on. Uh, this is the GPS. This is the battery charger circuit for that particular battery. I'm using that Seiko rechargeable battery, which just requires a resistor. All right. This is a CAN controller. There's the CAN, uh, you know, the level shifter um, crystal for the CAN. CAN terminate. And then uh, there's the accelerometer, is right in there. Love that accelerometer. It's one of those little, oh, I can't think of what it's called right now. I'll put it in the comment or something. Very handy. Has temperature, it's compensated temperature, but you can get temperature off of it, and then you always know. So we use it to know, you know, if the board is, is tipped too much uh, for the what this is going on, we'll want to know the orientation of the product, right? So we use it for that, it's real handy and they're really inexpensive. Alright, then we've got a LiPo charging circuit here. You got your serial coming in over here. We've got some LEDs up here. There's a there's a blue LED just for signaling. There's a green when you're on 5 volt. There's a red when you're charging your a LiPo battery here. And then somewhere down in here there's a yeah there's the uh, that, that's the 3.3 uh, volt set up there so it goes from 5 to 3.3 you can run 5 in here or here in, anywhere so all right so that's it I'm going to uh, fire one of these up it should go exactly 
uh, like all the other ones though because man PCB way just really makes some nice stuff very nice so cool board lots I mean we still have a lot of extra space whoops still have a lot of extra space where we can add some stuff um, like we're thinking about making a putting a, a a linear voltage regulator on one of these lines here so that we can use it from a range of voltages you know up to 28 down to 5 well you'd really have to have about 7 so 7 to 28 and uh, but we can move some of these things over we've got plenty of space so lots more left to do oh let me show you let me see I don't know if you can tell from this but you know this is the size of a uh, credit card so it's 54 by 86 so it's the exact size of a credit card so it's a nice platform all right let's uh, I'm gonna get this thing charged up not charged up you know I'm gonna get it so we can focus on that there we go cool board I'm going to get it uh, loaded with MicroPython just to check it out. Oh, we should open up these other boxes just to check them out. Okay, so we've got it hooked up to a USB C, which is just plugged into the computer. We're going to use that for COM and for power. The green light means that it's running on 5 volts. And then we got this red light flashing, and that's from the charging circuit here. And what it really wants is to have a battery on there. So here's just a, uh, what's this? It's a LiPo battery. And this is just a pH. So this is a pH 2, which goes here, and this is a pH 6, which I actually have, if I can find them. Rummaging, rummaging. Oh yeah, here we go. So I got this pH six connector. So that's what we're using. Um, I just got some Dupont connectors on here, but that's what we're using to connect up to uh, can and that different different things like that. So let me stick this on here. That red light should go out. There we go. Red light is out. This battery's already charged, so we don't need that. Alright, it's not going to come on. And uh, we're ready to go here. Alright, the first thing we'll do is pop open a console. And, of course, this is not a tutorial. You can watch my tutorials if you need a tutorial. But uh, we'll just go through the steps here. Get MicroPython on here. And then um, get it loaded up. All right. All right, so the first thing we want to do is check what's in dev and see what's going on. Now, those other two boards you saw, they're hooked up right here on USB 1 and 2. So this one that we just connected is that one right there, okay, on USB 0. Okay, when you have a new board, the first thing that you want to do, now this is ESP tool. It's the Espressive tool. Uh, you can download and install that, but I've just put the port in here and I'm going to go ahead and erase the flash. So I'm going to set that up and I'm going to start it and then I've got to reach over here and hold the program button down and hit the reset. And now it's picked it up. It, you, you have to put the thing into uh, into program mode. So you hold down, it's, it's really uh, GPIO 0. So you're lowering GPIO 0 and then you do a reset and it comes up in program mode. Okay, so there we go. We got the thing. Um, all the flash is erased. If you want to know what the specs are on the chip, there it is. There they are right there. Okay. All right, and then let me, I'm going to copy this over. So here I'm using ESP tool again. Here's the chip. Here's the port. Uh, baud rate. And then here is the latest 
stable version of MicroPython right there, the bin file. So we're hitting that, and again, I've got to go over here, do the program, and reset, and now it's picked it up, and it is programming it. It won't take but just a second. Now once we get this programmed, then I'm going to change over to a, uh, a file that has my whole library that I've been writing for this thing. Uh, just to work with, with the product. I mean, with, with all of the tools that are on here, I've got a library for all that kind of stuff. Okay? Alright, so everything is... Yep, everything's there, and it's gone into reset. Okay? Yeah, that's where I want to go. Alright, and then, uh, those of you that have been around a while, you may have uh, remember the uh, REPL ACE tool that we use. Well, I've done some big mods on this tool. Um, and, it, well, anyway, it's all command line now. So, like, if we put an H in there, see, I've got all the, there's all the help files for how to run the thing and all that. But in this case, I'm going to do A because I need to load my entire library. So I'm going to reach over here and hit the reset button on the thing uh, after we programmed it. Now that it's done its reset, and now I'm going to run Replace. And it's got to create uh, the, all this stuff. I've just been loading so much stuff on here that I had to come up with something that would bulk do this stuff for me. So that's what's going on right now. Okay, that is all loaded up. So the only thing left to do then is connect to this thing. Uh, so let me get out. I use, of course, PicoCom. And uh, so let's connect up. All right, we're connected up, running Python. So let's do a full boot, and it should go through the whole sequence. It'll load all the library. It will connect to my test network and do, do its thing. So I'm going to do a Control-C and a Control-D. And there it goes. Loads the library, started the CAN bus, loading the... Uh, it's connecting to Wi-Fi, and there it is. It is ready. So the whole, um, you know, everything's in there. And just as a test, let's blink the LED a bunch. Now let's see. We'll just blink it a million times. And the video will end before that. All right, should be blinking. So let's go over here and look. And yes, it is blinking. So there we have it. We've got everything installed and we're done. And I'm going to control C, which ends the blinking, and control AX, which gets me out of PicoCom, and I am done. Shave and haircut. Two bits. Okay, last thing. Don't you like this? Circuit board. <laughs> Good thing they're pretty durable.